Hi everybody, this is Oksana and today I'm going to show you how to make a clasp, a handmade clasp out of wire for a cord necklace. So this exact one that I'm showing you right now is what we're going to make. So you're going to need some 18 gauge wire, some pliers, and wire cutters and then you don't have to have this exact tool here but something you know round and small to wrap your wire around we're gonna make kind of like a little spring or spiral looking thing and of course your cord so I am gonna start by taking my 18 gauge wire and using this tool here um, to wrap it. I'm going to use the smallest one here. It's pretty tiny and it depends on the size of your cord. My cord is its not super thin but this is kind of what it looks like. Similar. The smaller one works best for me for that type of cord that I use. So I'm going to take this I'm going to kind of you know squish it and I'm going to start um, coiling it around, I'm trying to make a nice tight, I'm going to have to fix, let me fix it a tiny bit. You can always use your pliers, like there's a little gap. I want it to be a nice tight little coil. Put that back in there. And I'm going to keep going. And it doesn't really matter how long you do this for. I try to go for about this much. Let's count. So I got one, two, three, four, five. This seems like a good distance to me personally, but it's up to you. You can go longer if you want. I wouldn't go too short just because you need, you know, to get your cord in there and pinch it down and everything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, sorry if I'm out of focus for a second there. I'm going to make my uh, little loop here. So I'm going to take, let me think of the best way to show you guys. I'm going to take this and bend it so it's at a sharp angle, um, but then I'm going to, and by the way, this is soft, uh, dead soft wire. You can use hard. I personally, I don't have any um, half hard wire, so I don't know, you know how difficult it would be, but dead soft will work, but you do have to use like 18 gauge like I'm using. Okay. So I got that bent up now, which is what I was going for. Now I'm going to take um, this tiny one again, which you do not have to do. You can use a bigger one. Um, it depends on the little loop. So this end is going to be the little loop, and the other end is going to be the hook that goes in. So I think most people make bigger ones, but um, I want to make a little one for this. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm actually curling it in this direction, like this. Um, and then I want to wrap it. I always feel secure, more secure, uh, wrapping it a time or two around. Um, I know that they have these coiled type closures um, that I've seen like that you can buy at a craft store that just have you know a little loop like this and it's not coiled around itself but I like the extra security especially because I'm working with softer wire I'm working with this dead soft here okay so that obviously got bent a little bit out of Shape. So I'm going to put this on, back on, just so it kind of holds it for me nicely. 
Now I'm using my pliers to fix that a little bit. Kind of fix the shape of it. Until you are happy with what you've got. You can try and kind of make it, if you want to, you can try and move it like over that opening. So it's kind of like, instead of being on the edge or on the side, sorry, you can't see that, can you? It's almost just like right at the top. Sometimes I think that looks kind of nice. So I'm going to take that off now. So here's what I have. Um, if your coils got separated, just kind of bunch them together. Nice and tight. No big gaps. Okay, now I'm going to take my cord. I'm going to put it in. You can already see there was one of these on there already, but it was... Um, you know, like a standard one that came with it, not a handmade one. So then you're going to, what you want to do is you're pushing down just this little tip here. And if you've ever attached these kinds of things before, like they sell pre-made ones, then you will know what to do. And you want to pinch it down really, really hard. But at the same time, you don't want this little end to like stick out either so be careful about that and I like to move it down a little bit so it's kind of centered so now there it is and it's pretty firmly attached if you don't feel comfortable with it um, you can put a little glue in there but mine seems pretty well attached and I feel pretty comfortable with it you can mess around a little more with, you know, centering this top part here if you want to until it's all perfect. But this is going to be the little, um, the little uh, loop that the hook goes through. And now we're going to do the same thing for this other end, except instead of a little loop, we're just going to make our hook. So I'm just going to do this a few times and um, I'm going to do the um, hammering off camera but I am going to hammer the hook just to make sure that it's nice and strong for me. Okay. So for my hook I'm just going to do this by hand and you can kind of leave it like this or you can do a little loop with some round nose pliers. You can hammer this end or you can do a little loop there and you're going to attach it the same exact way to your cord. Now I'm going to use my round nose pliers to make that. And I'm going to take my cord, put it through a little bit there, and pinch this down. You want to kind of start pinching right from like this little end. Like if you pinch down here, then this end might end up sticking out. So this way, like you're pressing down on the end. And it's definitely not going to stick out this way. All right, so press that down really, really hard. And I'm just going to move that a little bit so it's more centered. And you can move your hook if you want to make that a little bit more centered as well. It's up to you. So um, I am going to hammer that off camera just because I don't have a good way to <laughs> be able to hammer up here in front of you. All right, so I went ahead and hammered that. 
Um, and now I can close it and kind of reshape it a little bit if you want to. I like for mine to not have much of a gap there so there's not a lot of room for it to come slide off. But that's it. That's how you make a hook and clasp for a cord. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.